Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Rich. The name of the channel is Rich the Return Rider. For all of you folks that's here for the first time, thanks for tuning in. For all of you folks that's return viewers, I appreciate you coming back. For all that subscribe to the channel, appreciate the support. For you folks that haven't yet subscribed, guys, hit that subscribe button so we can continue to bring you some of this content. So today, guys, what you was just listening to there was the sound and the rhythm of the Suzuki Boulevard M109R V Twin 1800cc's 128 horsepower with 118 foot-pounds of torque from the line of Suzuki GSXR racing development. This motorcycle is an absolute blast. So today we are out for some throttle therapy. Put my visor down so I can block some of this wind out. And we are back here in Lake City, Lake City, Florida. This is August uh, 2023. And as you can see from the topic there, man, was the M109R a great riding to returning to riding motorcycle? Now I started the video there, guys, trying to give you a little bit of exhaust sound. As I did a video talking about buyers beware, and we was talking about the purchase in that video of the M109R used. Some of the things to look out for. One of the commenters, again, in that comment section, one of the commenters say, man, you did the walk around and the one thing you didn't do was let us hear the sound of those Cobra swept exhausts for the M M109. So that's what I was attempting to do there from the gas station, but I might go ahead and do that from my, when I get home from my garage. I'm gonna start my videos with the M109R with a little bit of a walk around of this beastly machine and the sound of it so yeah so let's get to the topic now what i realize is folks like i was coming from the world of sports bikes seem to take a special liking to the look of this motorcycle that big 240 rear wheel the fact that it have the horsepower that it have and there's a real cool appearance to this motorcycle. Now, when I did that video, I was talking about buying this motorcycle used and the concerns and the things you should be looking for. Primarily, uh, that second gear failure in the earlier motorcycles. And again, in the comment section, someone noted, someone noted that that was taken care of in 2011. So, one less thing to be concerned about but we'll, so what i'm going to say folks is this v twin 1800 cc suzuki line is reliable that engine is bulletproof if you think you're going to trash that engine with your riding capabilities then good luck you must be a hell of a rider and somewhat of an abusive motorcycle owner but yeah, so the question asked by one of my co-workers, is it a good motorcycle to return to riding on? As he, again, like I was, is coming from the world of sports bike and not having ridden in years. That question, you know what the answer is to a question like that? It depends. What are you looking for? What is your intentions? Now for me, it was a great purchase. First of all, the bike was affordable. We know the M109R is beer bones. It's an old throwback kind of motorcycle. There's no, to a fault, no ABS, no cornering ABS. The technology is down to a minimum. This is actually a performance motorcycle, folks. Get out there, twist the throttle, throttle therapy. And, you know, 
forget all the other BS. But I got to be honest with you, that ABS is something that I recommend, especially since I'm based on my experience into getting back into riding on safety. But outside of that, this motorcycle was awesome. Okay, let me touch a little bit on the things that made this motorcycle, I think, such a great return to ride a motorcycle. Like I said, the price. You can pick one of these things up from the 2006 to a little older uh, model from a private seller for a couple of thousand dollars. Five, six, seven. Depends on the mileage, depends on the condition. But I'm sure you could negotiate a ridiculously nice price for M109R out there, folks. Now, if you're the kind of person that want to get into the higher technology stuff and uh, the bags and so forth, you know, this might not be the, the motorcycle for you. A lot of us folks as older riders returning to riding, get out there and we buy what uh, we will call our dream bikes. But that wasn't really the intentions. This was an introduction back into riding. Now, what I'm going to say to that is the capabilities out there for the M109R, I believe, is endless. I've seen this motorcycle customized, pull up customizing the M109 on YouTube or on Google. You are going to see some of the most beautiful motorcycles out there, some of the most beautiful M109s out there. Chromed out, bags, bat wing fairings. I mean, some of them didn't even look. I, I've been at Daytona seeing some of the bikes there that were M109Rs, and I had to take a second look didn't realize that you could make this motorcycle look like a full bag or a full dress motorcycle and you know the thing about it is uh if i didn't buy the the gold wing there are some custom bags that i was going to have put on this motorcycle that actually blended with the paint scheme and everything on the motorcycle i thought they were awesome looking yeah a lot of folks are going to say hey man don't don't alter the motorcycle and that's cool a lot of folks keep this motorcycle as a beer bones motorcycle. They might chrome him out. They might do certain things to it. The one thing I'm going to recommend, folks, is don't lower the motorcycle. Motorcycles are designed to lean. This motorcycle have a limited lean angle as it is. And if we're going to lower the motorcycle, man, we are getting it in a dangerously, uh, and what I consider to be a pretty dangerous uh, position, you know, Especially when it comes to low side in the motorcycle and so forth. There's so many things you can do to this motorcycle to make it awesome. But the one thing I don't recommend is lowering the bike. That 240 back tire on the back is appealing. Some people go up to, or uh, not a 200, a 280. And I'm sure somebody out there is going higher than that. And it looks ridiculous. It is awesome. Now I've chosen to go back with the 240 because of the slow speed classes and the handling of the motorcycle. So yeah, all of that makes the bike look really cool, man. Like I said, my only recommendation is to not lower the motorcycle. That's only my opinion, folks. So is this a great return to ride a motorcycle? Now let me let me put this part in there. Due to the fact that the motorcycle is affordable, using this as a practice motorcycle makes it awesome i'm not afraid of dropping the motorcycle it came with the drop guards that's on it you know and i have dropped it doing quite a bit of uh classes and training have never damaged the bike the motorcycle is easy to work on i bought it with almost 30,000 miles on it i did have to put a clutch in it that was an easy installation the clutch cable was an easy installation. The sissy bar was easy installation. The windshield, all the things that folks will say do not put on the M109R. But you know what, like I said in one of my videos, my bikes need to be functional. So yeah, this was awesome, man. The motorcycle demands respect. It is big, it is beefy, it is powerful with a twitchy throttle. The key thing that made me enjoy this motorcycle so much is the confidence that I have built with it. The idea, uh, if, you have, if you have watched my channel, to be able to go out to Harley-Davidson, 
I'm actually scheduled to do a CVO ride on the new Harley Davidson, but this weather here in Florida is not permitting me to do a lot of the things that I want to do. You know, I'm scheduled to work tonight and just want to get out and get a little bit of therapy in. Wind therapy and throttle therapy for you folks out there, yeah. But yeah, the confidence that it is, I have built with this motorcycle, not overconfidence, folks, just confidence, allows me to go out and test ride any motorcycle that I want to ride. And it feels almost, in most cases, easier than the M109 to ride. I have rode the Challenger, I rode the Pursuit, the BMWs, Harley Davidsons. You name it, none of those motorcycles as, is as intimidating as the M109R. And even though I own the Honda Goldwing, I am still a little bit more comf comfortable throwing this thing around in parking lots and concourses than I am. You know, than I am the Honda Goldwing. And it's not that the Honda Goldwing doesn't handle easier than this bike. It's just the fear of dropping this motorcycle does not create that fear in me. It's dropping a more expensive motorcycle. But yeah, man. For you folks that are considering or that's watching this video and is considering this motorcycle if you're returning to riding. Now, as a new rider, that is debatable. Uh, they have heard the likes of Jerry Palladino and MC Rider and those guys say, hey, you know, buy a smaller, more forgiving motorcycle, lighter, less power. So I'm not gonna get into that debate of whether it's a good first time motorcycle, but if you're returning to riding and you got the basic skills and fundamentals and you are looking for a fun bike, if you're looking for a durable, performance motorcycle a badass cruiser you can't go wrong with the m109r folks anyway i'm gonna wrap this video up here again you know get into these parking lots practice at least emergency braking and swerving Things that I believe will save your life out here on these motorcycles. It's better that you drop your bike on the concourse or on the parking lot, folks, than to crash them out there on the streets. Rich out on Suzy, the 2012 Suzuki Boulevard M109R, and I am out.